Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a solution I found for fixing corrupt or damaged video files. So recently, I was recording a tutorial on how to fix broken laptop hinges. Now in this folder, I have all the video files relevant for that tutorial. As I was beginning to edit, I discovered that one of the video clips couldn't open. And this happened to be the main video clip, as you can see from the size. It wouldn't open with VLC, nor with any other video players, not even with Premiere Pro itself. The error messages range from unsupported compression type, unrecognized file format, file isn't playable, or playback error. On VLC, I have this orange bar bouncing back and forth and never playing the video. Now this video was shot using a Pixel 8 Pro, so I decided to copy it back to the phone and then try to play it from there, but all to no avail. At this point, I knew that the video file was badly corrupt or maybe damaged. So I began to search for solutions and then I came across this tool from EaseOS called Fixo Video Repair Tool. The description of the tool sounded like a perfect match for my situation, so I decided to give it a try. For full disclosure, I'm an affiliate of EaseOS and I have covered a couple of their solutions in my past videos. One was the EaseOS Data Recovery Wizard, a very effective tool for recovering lost data, either deleted by error or from a corrupt storage drive. The second was the EaseOS To Do PC Trans tool, another powerful tool for safely transferring your applications from one PC to another without losing your settings or configurations. Now, I wasn't aware of this EaseOS Fixo Video Repair tool until I ran into this problem of corrupt video file myself. So I'm going to show you using a step-by-step -step approach. It's very simple. How I use this tool to recover my video file and how this could save your day someday, especially if you're a content creator or you deal with lots of media files. So first, I will go ahead to download and install the free version of this tool. Now it's good to start with a free version, that way you can get to know if your video files or images are repairable before proceeding to pay for the premium version. I will leave a link to this page down in the video description. After downloading the installer, just run normally and allow the program to fully download and install. It takes just a couple of minutes, depending on your internet speed. Afterwards, I'll just click on the Start Now button. Then I will click on Add Video. And then I try to locate the corrupt video file. Just locate yours wherever you saved it. And then it takes some time to add the video depending on the size. After adding the video, you can just click on the repair button on the right end of the video or use the repair all button if you have multiple videos. And that begins the repair process. Now you just need to wait patiently for the process to complete. Here the initial stage of the process is the quick repair where this tool tries a light approach to repairing your video file. Now depending on how badly corrupt your video file is, it might be able to repair it already at this quick repair stage. Now in my case, the video file is so badly corrupt that the quick repair couldn't get it repaired. It then offers me a more advanced repair option. Here the tool asks you to upload a similar video, like a video shot with the same phone or the same camera. You can even take a short random video using the same device you used to take the corrupt video and just use it here. It will then use the properties of the sample video to reconstruct the corrupt video, which is very interesting. Here I already have other video clips I took with the same Pixel 8 Pro phone, so I will just use one of them for that purpose. It then does an initial verification and confirms that the properties of the two videos match perfectly. I will then click on this Repair Now button and wait for the advanced repair process to complete. Now just a side note, I'm still using the free trial version for all these steps, so up until this stage and even the next stage, you still don't need any premium version. So the advanced repair tool could take some time for obvious reasons. It's an advanced repair, so it's going to dig deeper. Afterwards, I now have this short preview from the repaired video file. And when I slide through it, I can see clearly that this is the clip I need. This was the corrupt file, now recovered. So when I now try to save the video, 
Only then will it require that I upgrade to a premium version to complete the process. Now, if you choose to upgrade to any of the premium versions, I have included the link and a 20% discount coupon down in the video description. You can use that on any of the plans you choose to go with. When you have obtained your key, simply come back here where it says already have license, paste your license and hit activate to activate it. As soon as that is done, it will ask where you want to save the recovered file. I will save mine on the desktop. And within a short time, it should say complete. And now I can go to this folder on the desktop named repaired. And in here, I have the actual recovered video file ready for use. Now the ESOS Fixo tool not only works for video files of different formats, it can also repair corrupt image files of different formats and other application files of different formats with different degrees of corruption or damage. So you can also try it out in those scenarios. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.